Guys, we've got here the Zostava ZPAP 85, and that's right, this is an AK pistol chambered in 5.56. Let's have some fun with this guy. How about it? Smoky beauty, this thing is. I like that. Oh, oh. So we've got the Zostava 85 here, and that's right, guys. This is an AK pistol chambered in 556 that you see right there. Coming again from our friends Zastava, made in Serbia. Zastava guys, a great group of guys. We did cover them while we were at SHOT Show this past year. So go check out our video on that where we talked a little bit about the M91, which is a sweet rifle. We gave one, along, gave one away not too long ago. But you know, I've got this Zastava loaded up here, the Z85. I got a little bug over here with me too. Let's actually uh, let's have some more fun shooting this guy. That thing just wants to run. You know what, just for fun. That's an easy gun to control right there, guys. I mean, yeah, I get it. It's a 5.56, which isn't exactly a heavy hitter to begin with, but you put it in a 10 inch barrel like this and that small size, ah, it's still very easy to manipulate. And it's got a little bit of heft to it too, which is of course always fun. So the recoil on this guy's a whole lot of fun. Whole, real easy, real easy. Oh yeah, I can't get enough of that. That target's only set up about 15 yards ahead of me there, and uh, that's no problem all day with this. This does have a Krenkov style rear sight to it, and then just kind of your standard uh, white dot sight up front. So it's all right to pick up. The rear sight's a little, little difficult, but I tell you what, I'm just focusing mainly, mainly on that front sight, and uh, it's pretty simple, that's for sure. Of course, again, this is an AK pistol, so it's going to have your similar AK controls. Well, mostly safety, but of course, Zostava typically throws in their slide lock right back here as well. So if you have a malfunction or you're at a range that likes to show the gun is clear with the bolt facing up and locked to the rear, you can lock this back without a problem. And I'll show you guys that here in just a moment. In the meantime, though, I'm going to shoot this some more. Oh, I missed that one. Oh man, that is too much fun. I can definitely start to feel that barrel warm up some here underneath these beautiful wood hand guards. Oh, they do look good too, man. And I think Zostava did a great job on this little guy here. And me personally, I'm a huge fan of Zostava. The first uh, AK variant that I purchased was a Zostava M70 underfolder. So uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a uh, bias and sentimental value, I guess you could say, and I still have that one today. But you know what? Let's take it back to the bench. Let's go talk about it there. So talk about a fun little pistol, guys. The ZPAP 85 here, yes, it's an AK chambered in 5.56, but that's okay. You know, a lot of you guys out there are probably saying, that curse this gun for being a 5.56 chambered AK, that just doesn't belong. I think it does, and I think it's a heck of a lot of fun to shoot, that's for sure. So this guy right here comes in weighing just under seven pounds, takes your standard 5.56 chambered AK mags, and from things I've seen on the internet, it looks like it's accepting some AK-74 mags, but don't hold me to it on that one. Uh, and let's just talk a little bit more about what this gun has to offer. So Zostava, of course, is coming out of Serbia. Uh, they've been Zostava USA now since 2018, and we met with them at SHOT Show, had a good time talking to them, as I mentioned before, about the M91, some of the pistols that they have, some of the other rifles that they had up on their wall. Just a good group of guys. And we gave away the M91 not too long ago, and that was a fun rifle to pull the trigger on. So go back and check that video out if you're curious to see how that thing shoots. Anyway, with this guy here, we'll just stop right at the muzzle. It does have a 26 millimeter left-handed thread pitch uh, thread protector here. It is welded onto that front sight gas block, but that's okay. You can break that weld and then, you know, have whatever you want here with that thread uh, or that thread pitch barrel or threaded barrel. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. Anyway, also too, as I mentioned, front sight gas block, pretty cool stuff. I always like seeing these on uh, different AKs just because it's a modern AK feature that I think this looks really good. Adds to the aesthetic on a lot of rifles out there, but on this pistol here, uh, the barrel is so short, a 10 inch barrel, you actually had nowhere else to put the front sight. So the style went ahead, made that a nice beefy front sight gas block. And you'll notice it's got like a dual 
post or dual aperture there. Let me try to hold this up to the camera the best that I can. So the front sight, you have your white dot, like your three white dot that you see here. This is more of a crank style rear sight. And then of course it can fold down and so can this guy here and it reveals your standard AK style front sight post. Pretty neat stuff. The sights are pretty easy to pick up, especially whenever you have this one folded with that white dot right there. I mean, I can get right on target pretty easily with this guy. It shows up very well too in daylight. Also too, the front sight gas block does feature a sling mount right over here. So if you wanted to hit your sling up, you can, add, you can attach it there. Coming back a little bit further, it is again a Hammer Forge 10 inch chrome lined barrel. Nicely done there, Zestava. And I think, I, I think I said it was just under seven pounds. Also too features a hard steel or a hard steel nickel anti-corrosion uh, bolt carrier group, which is very nice. Gonna add, well, first off, it's super smooth. That feels great. And on top of that as well, it's gonna, well, be anti-corrosion or corrosion resistant at least. So that should add just to the longevity of that bolt there for you or bolt carrier. Uh, another neat feature about this guy too is the fact that it has a hinged dust cover. So you notice this right here actually retains the dust cover on it, which just simplifies things a little bit here. So if you just wanted to pop it open, just like your standard AK, pops right open, but stays right into place. And of course you can take a look at all the internals there if you care. But yeah, the Zestava just did a really good job with this pistol. Definitely a fan. And then it just pops right back into place. How easy is that? Perfect. As I mentioned before too, the safety selector on this guy, which is very easy to actuate, also has that bolt catch right back here. So you just do this kind of number right there. Now it's locked to the rear. And if you're out of range, kind of like we're, where we are, and if you have any guns that, well, let's just say this range likes for safety to be prevalent, you can always have it sitting just open like that, locked to the rear so that way the bolt is exposed. You have a clear chamber and an RSO can see that. And a lot of ranges prefer that. That's how you store your guns when you're not shooting them, either on the bench or in a rack or however that range might be set up. So neat little feature there. Also too, the receiver on this guy is 1.5 millimeter thick, does have a bulged front trunnion as well. So it adds for that thickness, that beefiness on it, uh, which of course just adds again to the longevity of the parts on this gun. And I've always liked too, the little bit of a dimpling that they've put right here, uh, right where the magazine goes, helps alleviate some of that mag wobble that you sometimes get with AKs. This one right here looks like it's just really fit well. So they've done a good job with that for sure. All right, drop that safety down. Of course, the bolt will go forward. It's under spring tension, obviously, so that just shoots forward. Trigger on this guy also feels very nice. So let's take a look at this together really quick. And again, we are clear. And the trigger, you have a little bit of take up and then hammer falls. Honestly, feels like maybe a five pound trigger. I don't have my, uh, <laughs> my trigger measure with me out here, but at, uh, that's what it feels like, I think. And then that reset real crisp throws your finger forward and it just wants to run you gotta love that all right liking that quite a bit the grip on this guy feels very good as well it's not just like your standard little like you know i don't know what to call it just your standard ak grip this one actually has a little bit of ergonomics to it and also has some texture here and to the grip which just adds for a little bit more comfortable grip all around as you can see the horizontal lines and the grip a little bit of a palm swell back here real fun pistol to shoot guys even single-handed and because it weighs just under seven pounds trying to manage that 556 five, recoil easy day so if you're looking for just a fun gun to shoot maybe even that truck gun that you're looking for i say why not ak is a reliable beast it's going to run for you in an easily manageable round like a 556 five, it's an accurate little round too even with a 10 inch barrel hey i say go for it i absolutely love it so yeah, that is again the Zestava ZPAP 85. 30 round mag, 10 inch chrome line barrel, hammer forged, that front sight gas block, which I think this looks really good on this guy's here. 1.5 millimeter receiver, thick receiver. Yeah, this thing is sweet. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. So head on over to classicfirearms.com. Check out all of our Zestava AKs and rifles and everything else that we've got. And of course, pistols. I think you might like them. And the last thing I want to talk about is our current giveaway. It's a Barrett. It's a Barrett 50 cal. It's the Barrett M82 semi-auto 50 BMG rifle. It is so much fun. Coming with that Zeiss optic as well. You guys are going to love it. You typically like it when we give away 50 cals anyway. 
Now this one here is the 20 inch barrel, a little bit shorter than the 29 inch, nine inches exactly shorter, but I uh, really love that setup. Nice compact CQB gun, you know what I mean? That's a joke. Anyway, guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.